Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear and concise message from you. All right. So Aquarius, you have the Hermit card, um, you have the Three of Swords, you have the Eight of Swords, at the bottom of the deck you have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, King of Wands, clarifying the reading. So Aquarius, it just looks like right now uh, there could be a situation where somebody left or there can't even be like a ghosting situation. This could be you, this could be the other person. There's somebody who needs time alone. Time to think about, you know, what it is they need to do um, going forward. They also need to learn about themselves. Maybe even do like some healing or shadow work. Somebody also needs to heal from the past. Um, this is past relationships, past family situations. There's somebody that who is not resting because there's a lot to do here. Off camera when I was shuffling for you, I got like, um, I forget the name of the song, but it's like, it's a rap song, like work, work, work. Like some of you just out here working. That's what you need to be doing if you're not doing it. Especially with the page of pentacles showing up at the bottom of the deck. Some of you need to be learning. You need to be studious. You need to be astute. You need to be putting energy, effort, time into perfecting your craft. You need a plan, a course of action to bring something into manifestation, into reality. Some of you need to cultivate better healthier lifestyles it could be eating drinking whatever I don't know what you do um, some of you are kind of doubling into you know um, tip you know tarot and the esoteric and the occult and that's good because some of you are really um, thinking about religion and spirituality and trying to learn more and trying to see where you what, what best fits you? Where are you best suited in terms of religion and spirituality? Some of you are going to have some realization come to you. Um, maybe through sitting with yourself and meditating and also learning. Learning is a big aspect of this reading. Like, learn. Some of you have been a bit lazy. And you've kind of been holding yourself back, but you need to you need to join in. You need to get involved. Um, you either need to volunteer, go somewhere, talk to somebody, join a group. Because it, the end of some specific era is over. You know, maybe the era of frustration and being lonely and toxic situations. It, it's trying to be over for you. But it's up to you to actually do the work. Back to that work, work, work. Some of you need to get some rest. Again, you're not, you're sleeping, but you're not resting. Um, some of you, the lack of rest could be showing up in your body too. Um, you could be over caffeinated. Some of you, this this reading is about. There's like a ghosting situation. Somebody just left, okay, or somebody's just not a part of the connection anymore because they feel like they just need to go on their own, take some time to heal. It might be a period of <clears throat> maybe nine months or nine weeks of just you know inactivity. There's not going to be a lot of activity. You're going to be inactive. Um, because you just need to go within 
you need to think about what you need to do to recoup, to jump back into life again, um, how you can basically tell you just like, I don't want to repeat cycles. So I need to figure out how do I get out of this cycle? How do I really let go? How do I really end this era? Um, so some of you are really learning about how to close the cycle, how to close the circle so that you can go into newness. Now you're learning that through, you know, um, crystal work, magic. Uh, you, some of you are shamans or medicine women, medicine men. Um, you're just really learning how to better yourself in that sector. Um, first, heal self first. Know yourself first. Know thyself so that you can then, you know, transfer that energy information on to other people some of you really try to heal a heartbreak or there's somebody i feel like it's somebody else's energy like they're heartbroken over you they feel like you alienated them you isolated them from your your life you're not talking to them something was like a cutoff it was just like like um, when you shut off a light you just click flip the switch on them they feel so they feel trapped in their thoughts. They feel like they, they're having the secular thoughts of like, what's going on with you? Why, why aren't you guys communicating? Why aren't you coming back together? Um, this person is feeling like, why aren't you being this, the same compassionate Aquarius you used to be? Um, why, aren't, why aren't you forgetting them? Why aren't you not letting them back come, come back in? <sighs> This person is really desiring you, desiring to fix things physically. I don't know, like they want to use that wand. They want to like have some sexual healing. They just feel like if they can just get the opportunity to do that with you, then it's back on. Whether you like it or not, or whether they've changed or not, or whether they're not offering anything or not, it, it doesn't matter. But the cards want you to know that um, you are stronger then you know. There's that focus again. Yeah, the cards want you to know you're stronger than you know. Um, you're going to come out of this on top. It's just about clearing this energy right now. Um, going through it, processing it. I think you are doing pretty good, Aquarius. I mean, to be honest, I feel like this person is on a loop, where they're constantly thinking about you, um, going, playing, replaying conversations over and over again. Maybe even looking at pictures. They're doing something over and over again. They're being obsessive. Uh, the swirling thoughts, the secular thoughts. So they're going in a circle. So when you something's in a circle is. It's just round and round. It's um, the circle of insanity. So this person is driving themselves, you know, um, insane thinking of you in the connection. But I think you, you feel like this is my card where you say, um, you know, my stability is elsewhere. I think some of you got that with the page of pentacles. Like, then we have a star card under that again. Um, you feel like your stability is elsewhere. You feel like you're healing, your path is, you're on a different path. You you are ascending, you are going on high, you know. Um, you feel like you just need to put your energy effort into something else, into someone else. If if so, do keep in mind this person may ch chase you all of a sudden. They want you back. They want to go in a positive new direction with you. I think it puts you in a tailspin of what to choose and where to go. Yeah, it puts you in a place of um, not knowing if this person is serious. And you're going to have to rest heavily on your intuition. Um, you're going to have to do some magic. Yep. Yep. Um, you might have to turn this person down. Um, they're expecting you to be compassionate with them, but... This might have been a person who thought the grass was greener on the other side, so they, they're going to come back, make them do work to show you and to show themselves approved, okay? 
if you do even entertain this. Some of you are not going to entertain it or you'll just entertain it long enough to uh, let them down easily. This person definitely um, wants to come back. They want to apologize. They don't do all that stuff. I don't know. You know, um, only time will tell because of uh, I don't think enough time has transpired. I think, and that's what you're going to say. With the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, enough time hasn't gone by in order for them to um, actually have some change here. They're going to think that you're letting them down because it's of somebody else. But that's not really the reason. Is what I'm hearing. It's just that you don't you want to end the cycle. You don't want to be involved in karmic, toxic relationships anymore. So Aquarius, this has been your reading. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. If you took something from the reading, you can always give back. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.